Hi guys, so I'm going to try to quickly show you how you can use Google Classroom, how you can use these digital PDFs um, for e-learning and with your students at home. So it's going to look like this. They can click on the PDFs and they can click through and this is a great errorless way for them to learn, or sorry, not errorless, but it's self-correcting. So if they hit the wrong button, they will be asked to try again. Um, so again, if they hit the wrong button, they can try again until they get it right. So that's a great way for them to start. And after they are done with the um, self-correcting activity, then they can take a quiz. And then this is how you can assess how they are learning. Um, and you can um, edit the quiz too so you can adjust but like in this picture it's rainy and they'll go through and these pictures will rotate every time so it won't be the same. So how do you set this up? Once you download the digital activities they'll be in folders like this. So you go to share something with your class, add, you're going to add a file and then you're going to drag the PDF interactive PDF right over and push upload okay you're gonna wait till that uploads and then it will show up there I'm not gonna wait till it uploads just for the sake of time okay and then when you want to add the Google quiz first you're gonna open this instruction and quiz file for yourself you're gonna go to this page here Google quiz and click here to make a copy now once you've made a copy and saved it to your drive it will show up in your drive okay so now you're gonna go to add something from Google Drive and then a quiz right here and add and then you can give instructions like complete quiz after practicing the interactive ah sorry interactive PDF okay and then you can post that so if you have not done the quizzes before in Google Drive, let me just show you what it will look like when your students complete them. Um, this is actually pretty cool. Hold on, taking a minute to load. Okay, so you're gonna go to the responses right here. You can see who, um, who did it and what they got, which is really cool. So you can see I called myself test and I can see what I got right and what I got wrong. Okay, um, so that's really cool. So you can actually see, you can get the spreadsheet here um, and then you get data for what your students are doing at home. Okay, so there you go. I hope that was helpful for this little um, Google Classroom tutorial. I'm still pretty new to it, but um, these seem pretty easy. The only tricky thing with opening this PDF is it, it you can scroll, okay? So maybe just write in um, a message to the parents to either enter full screen, so view full screen, and then they might have to resize if necessary these buttons down here. Um, you don't want to do that one, <laughs> but then you can resize. And what's nice is once you resize it, the slides will stay that size for all the ones that um, your students will click through. Okay, so hopefully that helps if you are thinking about e-learning and not sure what to do. Um, again, this is the digital activity bundle that is available on TPT. If you have any questions, please let me know. I would love to help and figure things out with you if I can. Bye.